Hi, this is Bed Rest Coach Darlene Turner, owner and founder of Mamas on Bed Rest and Beyond. And today I'm doing kind of a feature. And this is a note that I received from a mama on bed rest, or at least a mama in our community of Mamas on Bed Rest, about how she has redesigned her pregnancy, labor, and delivery. I spoke with her and asked her if I could share this because this is just the epitome of what I believe we mamas need to do in order to have the pregnancies and the births that we desire. So this is from Mama Jessica Lynn, and she writes, and I'm just going to read her note. It's real short. I'm so happy. With each pregnancy, I've cheated myself on the birth I want and settled for getting the baby out healthy. While my deliveries are not high risk, that never made much sense to me. Babies can be born much more healthy with much less intervention. Mm. I made it with my last baby, but still felt like decisions were made for me without my consent. So this time I settled in the beginning with a doctor with a high cesarean rate and a terrible bedside manner. He had been making me feel guilty for every little move I made, even though I had a surplage in place since 13 weeks and my specialist didn't even recommend bed rest. He was trying to scare me into more strict bed rest. It was awful. I figured our birth would be reflective of that. So after watching the business of being born, I made the call to a local hospital that operates solely through midwives. Even though I am high risk, I was accepted with the care of the perinatal specialist as well still. The happy news is we are now on our way to a water birth. I can use the tub to deliver anytime after 36 weeks once she has her cerclage removed. I am so happy. Sometimes your provider can be the one making your birth much more high risk than it needs to be. I'm glad to be free from that stigma with an increasing cervical length. Woohoo! I was thrilled to get her note and I was thrilled to see her take charge of her pregnancy, labor, and delivery. I wanted to highlight this because as you know, when I'm blogging, I'm always saying, mamas, you know, you can do it. You know, decide on the birth you want, decide on what you want. You have choices. And this is a mama who was like, yeah, I do. I have choices. And I want to highlight a couple of really salient points about this situation that I hope all mamas watching this will take home. First and foremost, Jessica Lynn kind of just, she had in her mind what she wanted. And I don't know, I, I can't even think back what I wanted when I was having my children, but she had an idea. She had a vision, if you will, of the memories she wanted to have of bringing her children into this world. And to date, she hasn't had that. And she has finally said, you know what, I'm going to have that. So that's the first thing. She had a vision. She had an idea what she wanted. Next, she went about trying to find it. And, you know, as, as can be common, you end up with a provider and you think, oh, but they're really good. But then you're like, uh, we don't really gel. And that's what she found with this, the one doctor that she had who kept trying to make her more high risk. And you need to do this. You need to do that. And she's like, but my perinatologist isn't saying that again, uh, which brings up the next point. She asked questions and she listened to herself because something inside of her was going, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't sound right. This doesn't make sense to me. That's that was awesome that she listened because so often we're like, well, it doesn't feel right. But, you know, the doctor said to do it. So I'm going to do it. But she listened and she heeded it. Then she educated herself. She started, you know, kind of checking around. She watched the business of being born, and then it was like, boom, I don't have to have it this way. Then from there, she having her vision, asking some questions, getting the information. She started asking around, well, who, who could I deliver with? If I want to have a water birth, if I want to have this memorable experience, who could I birth with? Who would take me on a high-risk mama? And lo and behold, right in her area, and I have to look back and see where she is. I'm not sure where she is. She found a hospital that is staffed by midwives or, you know, who is attended by midwives, I guess is the more proper term, and who is willing to take her on with the perinatologist backup. I mean, how cool is that? 
you know, so many of us, I can say myself included, I probably would have looked and went, oh, but you know, they're only midwives. Not only midwives, but they, they have only midwife providers and they probably wouldn't take me. And I would have taken myself out of the game before I even gave myself a chance. She didn't do that. She called up and she persisted. And that is why, you know, barring any unforeseen circumstances, she's going to have the water birth that she wants. So I just thought it was great. You know, she had a vision. She asked, she knew what she wanted. She asked questions. She listened to herself. She sought out what she wanted and got it. You know, boom, there it is. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, there's no hospital like that around my area and I can't have something that great. Or you might not have this exact scenario, but I think if you check around, you might be able to have something good. You might have, be able to create something memorable. You might be able to create something more than just a sterile operating room and a doctor kind of calling all the shots. You can work with someone. Sometimes it's just as simple as changing providers. Sometimes it's just as simple as saying, I'd really like to have, you know, X, whatever X may be. So I, I encourage you, be encouraged by Jessica Lynn because she really, in my opinion, rocked it. You know, she went after what she wanted and she was, the, she was and is the captain of her birth team. So that's it for today. I'm Darlene Turner, bed rest coach, owner and founder of Mamas on Bed Rest and Beyond. And remember, you can have the birth that you want, but you have to be the captain of your team, which means you got to take responsibility just like Jessica Lynn did. Thank you so much. Have a great day.